All right, we are back again. Once again, procrastinating on work that I should actually do to go through this codebook. Um, so, of course, first thing up, we finished the Grover's. Oh my God, did they just do a major update? I literally just opened this codebook up and what? I did Grover's already. Did that right? Okay. Oopsies. I did Grover's already. I did. What is F? What? What is going on right? Okay, I'm very confused as to what what is going on right now. Okay. Um. What is going on? My code book is broke. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. We checked our GitHub repository. It's somewhere over here. I know it is. There it is. Two hours ago. Let's see, there's I, H, A, G. Yeah, everything looks the same. What changed? There was an edit two hours ago. A tiny change. Okay, so why did I just see that? What is going on? This is crazy. Maybe I have to delete. Let me just do this for the last hour. Because by the way, yeah, if you clear your um, cache, you'll delete all your progress, by the way. So don't do that if you don't want to lose your progress. Uh, I never use Edge. Like literally, the only thing I do on Edge is this. Um, so I'm not really concerned about anything leaking. I'm pretty sure, yeah. You see, I have like I have nothing here. Um, so we'll just clear for the last hour. Let's see if that fixes things. Oh, maybe I should do it again because. All right. All right, that fixed it. But also, it also erased all of my progress. Okay, well, that's sad. Um, that's unfortunate, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal because I already did them. But I don't understand. Okay, so there's phase estimation for your transform shores algorithm. But there's nothing there. And if I click on it, it breaks. Right, this is uh this is high quality right now. I mean, I, I'm messing. I'm just messing with the developers, but also, why is this happening? The what the the website literally breaks. Right, I'll do it again just for demonstration purposes. I'll click on. So I just cleared it. Okay, I lost all my progress, which is one very annoying that can't make a simple account, but whatever. Um, and two. Look at this. So I'll just go to this, right? You can see this. Yeah, it's just a blank screen and there's nothing there. And I can refresh. I can't go back because these are all like embedded in the website. They're not separate pages, which maybe is an easier way to organize it. I don't know. I, I don't make websites. So I exit, right? So I'm like, okay, the website's glitching out. I open it. No, because it remembers, right? What, what lesson I'm on. Wow, that's, I thought, and the reason I was okay with deleting the cache is because I thought it would save it from when I first visited, right? Like I haven't opened this up in the last hour. So I thought it would save everything in the previous cache. I guess I don't really know how cache works or cookies work, but um, let's check out their GitHub. 
over here. Yeah, nothing. Let's see any recent. No, no recent PRs. Okay, well, I I, I felt like before I could sometimes be a little unjustly harsh. Uh, not unjustly, but maybe a little too. Uh, I don't know what to say. Maybe, maybe it seems like I'm being harsh. I don't think anything I say is unjust. Um, but. I think it's fair to say that this is very annoying. So I'm not even going to click on F, P, or S, which is new. Um, I'm just going to do H. It's better work. Yeah, so this one works. Um, all right. Now I could edit out the, the first five minutes of this, but I'm not going to. So I'll just say, if you're skipping ahead, like I told people to do, then welcome to the beginning of the, the discussion. All right, um, simulating nature. What are we doing here? Generate some examples. Guess the secret deterministic rule. Input, okay. Um, it's a list of bits representing an initial condition the outputs after a deterministic evolution. All right, let's just do, um, I don't know, maybe it's gonna rotate all of them by one. Let's try that. Also, I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea to call input and define it as something because you're overwriting a built-in Python package, right? If I, you get like, input is a function, it's a keyword. Like I can do print equals here, right? And then overrides what the print like function is. But that's just something that's just something I remember from proper coding. Let's just assume it rotates. So we have the latter two values, and then we have the first value. Can only cast and cat out, right? I have to move. The result of applying secret box. Am I just supposed to like guess what this is? Oh, this should be bits. I see. My bad. Hey, what do you know? I guessed it right. I figured it. I mean. I don't know how I guessed that right, actually. I, pr I promise that I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done this before, <laughs> but I got lucky on that one. Um, <laughs> okay, now no one's gonna believe me, but, but that's okay. Um, all right. Uh, your goal is to estimate a random update rule you can run. Uh, probability distributions, okay. Um, What am I supposed to do here? I don't, okay. I get it now. Oh. Okay, well, it gives us, gives us a hint, so. Wait, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing now. Before we were trying to 
guess what the update rule was. Wait, I don't understand what's going on. Oh, wait, okay, so we run the, I don't understand what this bit is, is this bit the output of the, no, oh, so we're supposed to code what we think. Oh, okay, that's, that's such a convoluted question. Um. So I don't understand that. Um, check the probability distribution for different. I really am not understanding what this is getting at. Like, I understand deterministic and stochastic. Like, I, I understand those concepts, but this is such, they have so many secret rules and combos, like in the Grover section and stuff. I don't know. I don't understand why. Okay, let's do this. I thought. I bet it's going to be hard. I'm not, I'm not even really reading this. Hey, what do you know? I was right. See, like, I, I don't know what I was supposed to do there, but I just guessed that it's going to be hard. Hard, but okay. Write a function to, which checks if an array of complex numbers is unitary. Um, I think there is actually a, uh, is unitary, but we can also just say, uh, what are the odds I actually have to use all close? I can just do mpy dot map. Uh, can we do on b equals equals mpy dot i of Zero. Okay. Oh, oopsies, operator. Actually, I feel like I'm gonna... that should be a boolean. Oh no, I know. I remember how NumPy works. It's gonna do element-wise comparisons. All good. Okay. Yeah. So we're just saying is itself times a complex conjugate the same as the identity and that's what unitary means see right there oh would you look at that there the unitary check is implemented all right uh, if unitary check operator unitary Qubit unitary of the operator matters to zero. I'm probably gonna have to check the size too. Yeah. And operate for that two. There we go. Oof. Blazing through these. All right, Hamiltonians. Oh boy, spin up, spin down. This is giving me, this is giving me quantum physics uh, PTSD right here. Well, yeah, it's been a while. Not really. Actually, it has. It has been a while since I took a quantum physics class. 
It was actually more than a year ago. Wow. That was so long ago. Um, and this is all very <laughs> memorable things. That I probably, yeah, I should probably actually read these because I'm not going to remember all this stuff. But what are the odds I'll be able to remember it anyway? Let's go ahead. Um, complete the code to build Unitary 3. Oh, okay. Um, matrix 0, zero equals. Oh, I should. Uh, matrix matrix 0, 0 equals numpy dot cosine of alpha times. Actually, this is just e to the, I'll use my advanced knowledge of Euler's identity to say this is just e to the alpha times t prime times i, one j in numpy form. And this is just matrix of one equals numpy. Oh, forgot what this group is brief. That let's be negative one J Uh oh. Mm, that doesn't seem like my problem. Okay, it is my problem. Oh, is it because I'm casting it? The matrix. Oh yeah, that's because it's. Oh my god. I'll just do this. There we go. That's so annoying. They really should not. See, these are like. This is a serious feedback. This is justified feedback. I don't want to have to cast my matrix. I don't want to deal with castings and this understanding thing, right? Like that. That's just not relevant. That's more like nitty gritty implementation details which i don't want to have to worry about i want to have to worry about understanding i mean like i got it fine because i've dealt with this you know i've dealt with the implementation details so many times before that i get it but still uh, all right oh my god there's six checks wow this is this is probably all we're gonna get through probably because i took so long complaining at the beginning but that's okay all right, write a circuit which evolves a bar magnet, the magsy unitary. All right. Q and L dot three bit unitary mag C unitary. Now what do one of the inputs be time? B time. Ah, oh, excellent. All right, so now we want to bring out that Z negative two times alpha prime comma zero. Okay, well these are going pretty quick actually. Wow, look at that! Look at that plotting. I'm not really explaining what's going on here. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing that. Um, I'm just familiar with it, I guess. So I, I'm going to encounter something that I like, especially with Shor's algorithm, if that's actually a real section, I'm going to encounter it. And it's going to be uh, something that I'm not super familiar with the nitty gritty details. So I'm probably going to have to read and explain more. But for now, let's see, what am I doing here? Finally, write the circuit using the Z rotation. Okay, whoa, 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 what am I doing here? Simulates an electron initial state plus in magnetic field. How, what, how is this? 
do I not just do the same thing? This is different. Okay, it is different. Am I supposed to return anything? No, I'm not. Oh, that's okay. Let's read it. I'm using Z rotation. Oh, do I have to put it in the plus state? Yeah, I think I have to put it in the plus state first. Because it's in the zero state, so the RZ isn't doing anything right now. That's why those expectation values are all zero. There we go. I was right. Wow, look at those, look at those nice graphs. Right, that was cool. This looked like a good section overall. That's a good knowledge, I think. I don't know. I didn't read it. Okay, next lesson. Energy. Oh, wow. I feel like this is something I should actually read because every time I read any sort of quantum mechanics, I get a little bit more every time. And I've done that many, many times, and I still have no knowledge. But it's okay. Time evolution. Oh, wow. This is... A real throwback. Um, all right, well, let's just uh, do this. What am I doing here? It will the circuit as above. Okay, Q M L dot basis. Really? I don't know what this function does. So I will just assume that the input is correct. Right now, I will say C not. I think that's what it is. Um, here's one. RZ theta. Not of theta. What am I writing here? Oh, theta equals two a two times alpha times prime over h bar. I right, keep it one. Alpha c not is equal zero comma one. All right, here we go. All right, your code here. The remaining complete the following code to construct the Hamiltonian. The remaining code defines the circuit. What Hamiltonian am I constructing? Oh. Uh, let's see, can I just copy this over? Uh, coefficients, what are my coefficients? Okay, I'm gonna copy this. Let's QML poise one, two. Let's QMR plus E1, 2, plus QMR plus E1, 3, plus QMR plus E3, 4. Uh oh.
Let's look at examples here. Oh yeah, you can do this. Oh right, we have to do. I'm actually gonna take this down here and do. Let's do this. There we go. Hmm, why is this not right? Oh, it's because they're automatically summed up. You don't need to do that. There we go. Determine the two ground states to verify their energy, the expected energy for zero, zero, zero. Um, well, let's look. What would minimize this? Oh, it must be zero over one. Okay, let's see. We want uh, opposite, so zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. Let's see. It's negative two, that's a promising sign. Expected energy, two ground states, let's see. So then it'd be one, zero, one, one, zero. Zero, one, one, zero. Ooh. Negative four. What am I doing wrong for this one? Three and four are off. Oh, one and three are the same. That's the problem. One, zero, zero. See, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero. Oh, that's why we want four to be. That should be it. There we go. The way I did that, by the way, is just saying the minimum expectation value right, is negative one. So you need these two to be opposite signs. Oopsies. So you're going to want this to be zero and this is one. And those are just the two possible combinations. What time are we at? 28. Four. Yeah, we'll just call it here.